the vacant Phoenix Cruiserweight world title up for grabs here. That strap is going tonight. Cheek Sadibi will cast his bread on the water here to see if he can rest the strap and take it back to France. But representing Team UK, the man they call the surgeon, Stephen Wakelin, nearly four years in retirement, comes back tonight to reassert himself on the world stage. Is it possible? Is it doable? You think of the likes of Muhammad Ali. Well, if you're thinking of them, you're thinking of Steve Wakelin because this is the level that we're operating at. I'm Sensei Will Vanders. I'm joined ringside here by Brad Wharton and Dave Fensum. We've got five three-minute rounds to decide this. If it goes the distance, we'll all be very surprised, but it's going to be full fat action all the way. Yeah, we're underway. First championship out of the evening. Five rounds to separate the men from the boys if they need them. Wakeling in the black and silver. Sidibe in the solid black. Already clinched up here. And Wakeling looking to go to work with those hopping knees. Yeah, I would have thought Sheikh would like to keep it on the outside and not clinch with the bigger, stronger man. Uh, if he keeps it on the outside, he could maybe capitalize if Stephen is got, uh, does have any ring rust. But at the moment, he's putting the pressure on. Well, Sadibi really trying to impose himself here. And Wakelin using the clinch here to go to work. But there's a little bit of tentativeness about the work of Wakelin here. And uh, yeah, the rust is certainly there. But, you know, at this level now, you're going to expect Wakelin's going to have to sort of ease his way back into this. Absolutely. It's a long time to be out for any fight, no matter how good you are, no matter how determined you are, no matter how fit you are upon your return, it's getting comfortable again, back in the ring or back in the cage and dealing with a equally skilled and equally hungry competitor in front of you. Wakeling on the inside using some heavy elbows in there. There's the knee strike. That's going to be decisive. Dave. Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter how rusty you are. Uh, when you have the dangerous weapon of Stephen Wakeling's elbows, there is a fight stopper in every shot. And that is uh, it's going to be one to watch out for as he lands the right elbow. Well, Sadibi, caution to the wind. He's marching straight in through the front door, trying to roughhouse Wakeling. But uh, very composed Wakeling and just marking out his territory here and just trying to size up what Sadibi has to offer. Well, I don't know whether it's by accident or design, but he's kept most of the fight pretty much in the vicinity of his own corner. So perhaps listening to a bit of instruction there, putting the game plan to work. He's in the opposite corner now. And let's see what GK Sadibi can do. Well, that was a good solid connection yeah, with the crescent knee coming round the outside and landing there. Sadibi's taking shots, you know, and it's Wakeling that's landing them, scoring away. Up goes the high kick, that's a confidence booster. Sadibi replies with the low kick, but size, weight, it's all gonna be a factor. And Wakeling just controls him like a little kitten, doesn't he, Dave? Yeah, the more time they spend in the clinch, the more it uh, favors Stephen Wakeling for me. Wakeling's knees round the outside into the back were a big score and very effective and damaging techniques as he goes to work here with elbows and knees. We're really stepping it up now, Wakeling. In the corner, he's roughhousing Sadibi. I have to say that he's really in control now, Wakeling, and he's starting to put the elbows in more yeah. frequently and actually with more ease. Yes, Sadibi on spaghetti legs there, it looked like some of those short elbows appear to have stunned him and Wakeling is not letting up for one second. Big knee to finish the round. Yeah, that was saved by the bell for me. Stephen Wakeling almost stopped this man in round one. Well, fired up towards the end there, Wakeling really landing shots like 747s coming into Heathrow. This is the tail of the tape. Brad, talk us through it. Well, you see him immediately putting the pressure on, landing shots on the way in and then clinching up. He's so big, so strong and so powerful in that clinch. That's been his A1 tactic through most of this fight. And here we see some really damaging short shots. That, for me, was the elbow that rocked him. Yeah, I think you're right, Brad. As we watch further elbows going in, you can see Sheik is unsteady on his feet there. Well, he's really rocked the head back of Sadibi a couple of times here. Very solid, solid connections, headshot, and uh, well, he's back at the party, and it looks like 
Steve Wakelin is coming back with a bang. We go to two of a scheduled five. Well, we talked a lot about whether that four-year break would be the biggest factor in this fight. So far, perhaps not. I think size is the biggest factor in this fight for me. The work from Stephen Wakelin, all very good. Sharp jabs, keeping the distance. Up goes the high kick, nearly caught Sadibi with that. There seems to be a, a sort of hunter stalking his prey approach here now from Wakeling. Just waiting and biding his time, looking for that shot again. Sadibi, absolutely reckless, marching straight in. I mean, he's taking big shots on the way in, Sadibi, but he's just four-wheel drive. We said that at the beginning, and this guy does not have reverse. He just really comes in through the front door. Yeah, I mean, easier said than done, but I'd like to see Sadibi using his range a bit more here. He's not going to win this battle on the inside. Yeah, and for me already, Sadibi has uh, lost the sting in his shots. Look at these punches. There's, there's no real power on them. Now, Wakeling is taking it up a gear. His shots are actually hurting a lot more. The stiff jab, the hard low kick, the elbows. Look at the grit in his face. Well, this is great work now from Wakeling as he really changes the momentum. Power driving those shots into Sadibi. Real great, solid combinations. Following up after the elbow with the shots from the hands. This is great work from the former champion. Now, for me, this might just be getting to Sadibi a little bit. He's not going to look on his face of the man who wants to punch someone's head off. Stephen Wakely certainly does. Yeah, Sadibi's left leg is gone from those low kicks already. Look how, how he's stumbling on it, and Wakeling has spotted it. Look. Absolutely, it's been a subtle discombobulation from the feet up for Wakelin and Sadibi starting to fall apart here. He looks like a man that doesn't want to finish this and Wakelin summons up the aggression and that killer instinct when he needs to. Well, they call Wakelin the surgeon. He's certainly cutting his man to bits with a surgeon's hand like accuracy. Yeah, Cheikh Sadibi is... Uh... He's almost quitting in the ring there for me. He looks like he does not want to be there. He is not enjoying himself. He's and Wakeling is just going up and up the gears. He's in a lot of trouble, Sadibi. He's We've cut. already seen a cut. And uh, that's above the hairline. But uh, it's troubling, Sadibi. And this is a man that's not comfortable in the position. Also, Wakeling's corner just Good. urging his man on there. They want him coming forward, they want him putting pressure on Sadibi. They believe it's pressure. Sadibi can't handle at this stage. We're in the, we're in the second round, and already uh, we're seeing some real, real full fat action here. Wait then, ladies and gentlemen, he's back. Yeah, and those elbows are vicious. They always have been. He was called the surgeon because he would just cut people open. A powerful second round. For Stephen Wakeling there on my scorecard really did impose his will, and I'm surprised that we saw his opponent actually hit the bell in that one. Let's take a look at some of Wakeling's handiwork here and the punishing elbows and punching combinations behind them. Really racking up the points here for Wakeling. A lot of fluid work there from Wakeling, using the hands and the elbows, and then he creates space and distance, then works downstairs with the chopping low kick. All the time, he's draining the battery of Sadibi. Sadibi, well, towards the end of that round, just didn't look like a man that wanted to be there. Yeah, exactly that. And you can look in the, in the two corners, the contrast between these two corner teams. Sadibi looks like he does not want to be there. He's facing out the ring. I wonder if he's looking for an escape route because Stephen Wakeling is really imposing his will here tonight. And you look at the corner team of Sadibi and it's almost like they're pleading with him to do something. What, what do we have to do to get you to follow instructions, to follow the game plan? You look at the stark contrast of Wakeling's corner. He's having the time of his life. He looks like he means business. Sadibi no slouch. He started this really aggressively, really really bright, sparky and, and, and furiously, but he's under sustained pressure here. We go to round three of a schedule five and Wakelin back on the job now and starting to land shots and he's got heavy hands, Steve Wakelin. Well, you think with a guy who's taken a four year break, he might want to rack up all the ring time he can and go the distance, but Stephen Wakelin's certainly not fighting like a guy who's got any intention of giving the judges any work to do. Yeah, certainly. Stephen Wakeling will not leave it in the hand of the judges. 
And uh, I do not see this fight lasting the distance. Sheikh uh, Sidibe's left leg is on its way out and Wakeling's elbows are looking dangerously close to the mark. Well, the pace now favoring Wakeling. He's able to work rhythmically. Look at the elbows going. Sidibe in all kinds of trouble here. It's a wonder he doesn't go down when he's on the ropes. That cut causes all kinds of problems. And Wakeling, well, looking to finish this, as you've said, boys. Yes, yeah, Sidibe looked like he was hanging on for dear life there. Three powerful, potentially fight-ending strikes coming in for Wakeling, and he goes straight back to work in close quarters. Good, good, good. Yeah, Sidibe has the body language of a beaten man there, though. He looks like he doesn't want to be there, and one shot is going to crumble him. That said, he sustained pressure right from the beginning of this round. That low kick again from Wakeling goes right in. He drops that shot in on the quad muscle and entopic discharge must be cursing through the body of Sadibi. In a world of pain, this is the hurt locker for the Frenchman. Wakeling head hunting now. He's looking for a stoppage shot. Wakeling just biding his time here. Great economy of movement. He's making everything count. And he's landing very cleanly. Yeah, I can't help but feel it's it's almost a waiting game here tonight with Stephen Wakeling finding his mark. Shake comes forward, but gets he's just eating leather. There's absolutely an economic beauty to the work of Wakeling. Every shot is landed and every shot is accurate. Left-right combination. Sidibe in trouble. The legs are starting to shake a little bit now. Wakeling can sense it, looking maybe to finish this. We might see a stoppage early. Yeah, just under half a minute to go. Wakeling steaming in, gritting his teeth, firing off elbows. Every time we see Wakelin open up, he thinks that he can finish it. And every time Sadibi's still standing there. And in fact, I think Wakelin's got a little nick just above his left eye now. Wakelin powers forward again with the hold and the trip. But Sadibi, well, on autopilot, goes back to his corner. This is an outstandingly brutal but incredible comeback for Steve Wakeling. I wouldn't be as surprised at all if Wakeling had picked up a cut. They've been fighting at such a ferocious pace here and he's been charging forward to land those blows as we see in the replays of that round of action. Steaming in, firing off elbows and look, every single thing is landing. Wakelin's ability to put the combinations together. It's not a one-strike deal for Wakelin. When he comes forward, he's already on the third and fourth strike, and he's been able to punish Sadibi consistently. I mean, judge his scorecards, as we can see from that flurry there, must be just overloading. Sadibi not coming back with anything. No, he isn't. He just seems to cover up and, and, and take the punishment. And for me, he's a, he's a very tough man. And it's the warrior within him that's, that's getting him through this, but he's not winning the fight. And we're talking a five-round fight. There has to be a point at some point where his body's going to give out and Stephen Wakeling's size and ability is going to impose upon him to take the win. Well, we go to the fourth round and Sadibi, well, the heart can't be questioned here because he's back up there in the ring with Wakeling and it ain't over till it's over. And throwing in the front teeps, really trying to work there, but Wakeling's just another level. The low kick going in, left-right, left combination on the inside there, little, little piston punches. And, uh, well, Wakeling had a ratio of five to one in terms of strikes. Yeah, certainly the heart is willing, but will the body oblige for Sidibe at this stage? And everything that Wakeling lands just seems to rock Sidibe to his core. It certainly does. And it's oh, there's a problem there! What's happening? Wakeling Grimace! His shin! He threw in the low kick! There's a problem! Sidibe might have taken this! He can't continue! There's the count! Wakeling's taking a count! There's uproar here! There's a problem with the shin of Wakeling! Sadibi's done it! He stayed the course! And we have a new champion! What a way for the comeback of Steve Wakeling to end! Wow. If I had to pick my top ten things that I didn't expect to happen right then, that's gonna be that's gonna be two or three, surely. Well I said at the beginning of this bout, it ain't over till it's over. Unbelievable! Let's, Let's take look, a look at the back. replay. Oh, oh there we go, it was. Check kick. 
beautiful stuff. Perfect timing and uh, hopefully not too serious an injury there for Wakeley. Yeah, it's often the kicker that gets hurt more than the blocker. Steven has just thrown a big low kick in there and uh, Sidibe has blocked it with a solid block. And uh, Steven's shin, maybe through the time off, his, uh, his, not, his shins aren't used to the impact, but it could be a broken shin. But either way, he's had to retire in no fit state to continue. Sheikh Sidibe is the new champion. Well, the word persistence comes into play here and Sadibi was in all kinds of trouble and you know we'd written him off here we said he was a man that looked like he didn't want to be there but I'm telling you he looks like a man that wants to be there now and that strap has come into the ring and it's just dreadfully sad for Stephen Wakelin because I'm telling you he was home and dry that was just not gonna happen until it did Absolute heartache for waking there, obviously. Hey, Sadibe, many lesser men would have taken a knee before that point. Congratulations to the new champion for getting it out, taking home that big gold belt here at Phoenix. Ladies and gentlemen, after 56 seconds of the fourth round, with Stephen Wakelin retiring from the fight, unable to continue, we have a winner and new Phoenix Cruiserweight World Champion, Sheikh Sadibi! Sadibi wears the crown here tonight in the first of our title bouts.